the two statements are given one is work done by friction is always negative and the second one first let's pick up the first one work done by friction is always negative many of us uh, are under the impression that this is correct actually it is not so show you an example so here I'm, I've got this book and I've got this uh, device I'll a remote controller for the AC. I'll keep it on top of this and uh, you see as I accelerate it this way so clearly the speed of the remote controller will be increasing means its kinetic energy would be increasing. So if kinetic energy is increasing work done is positive right. So basically it is the force of friction static friction in this case which is increasing its speed because force of static friction is the only one which will be acting on it that way which way this will be accelerated okay and its speed is increasing. So clearly kinetic fr uh, static friction has done work see right. So this is work done by static friction on this remote controller static friction was applied by the book on this in the horizontal direction. So that work done was positive sorry uh, work done by friction is always negative no no let us not be so negative in our attitude. So this is statement is not done please be careful ok statement 2. Kinetic friction is a non-conservative force. Well, that is true. It is not a conservative force. So, uh, kinetic friction is a non-conservative force because work done, let us say, by kinetic friction depends on the path as you take it from. So, if you take a particle from here to here and take it like this, say on a horizontal plane, and this is also a path on the horizontal plane then the two work done are not the same. Both are negative but this one is more in magnitude on account of greater distance. So work done is not the same between points A and B. This is not a conservative force. Uh, kinetic friction is not a conservative force is the correct statement. Now this is incorrect. This is false. This is true. Shall I go for option 4?